Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for the Hookshot 2. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and this was not what I was expecting to be. Which makes me wonder how far if level 7 is at the Dirac Sea, or if there's something else going on. I honestly don't remember if there were what I needed to progress in there. Uh, right, I need to go down this way. Makes me really glad I got this sword first. Makes this whole process a heck of a lot easier. In theory, of course. And I know if I fall down that hole, I'll get to the, uh, I'll get the key. And I know I don't want to go down that one. Yeah, for some reason, this is giving me a, uh, a vibe of the third region of Section Z. Those of you who watch my LP of that kind of has an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh... Oh, jeez. Eat. What? The heck? What the heck did that just... Uh... I am confused. Uh... What the heck? The, so, I guess to go with the pun, this would be a, uh, a, cle a, a key lock? Oh dear. That is bad. Uh, uh, I think I do need to go down here. Here, aha! Okay, that takes me there. Thankfully, these lasers don't really do that much. And I can one-shot them. Good, even better. So I go down here and get my key. And no portals yet. Okay, so after he's done charging, he does something. I get. I think you, from what I saw was he stops, jumps, and then explodes on whatever he lands on. Which I guess makes some sense, but <laughs> okay. So yeah. All the more reason not to get in the thing's way. Alright, so I'm presuming I just have to run into this thing's face. Yep. Uh okay. Yeah, that's right, I literally have infinite arrows now. While this is doing less damage. I am doing it at range. There we go. Right, 
Right, there was a thing about the Quake Hammer making the Dongos a lot easier now. And now that I'm aware, yeah, that definitely makes things easier. Thing is, you can't. There's no way to tell the difference between the regular ones and the ones that uh, jump. Uh, uh. Eh. Okay. So, that's interesting. The levers only appear in the sandy areas, and I am in danger of death. Uh, I think... I think I need to go down this hole first. I think. Is there anything secrety here? No. How about? Aha. Dang it! Really? Now I'm in a spot where I am safe from these guys. And... The map. Okay. Okay! I sh should have known it was going to do that, but I didn't know that it was going to do that. Oh yay! Now I have to go through this whole thing again. Alright. Now I'm thinking about heading up this way. And see A what I can get or the alternative what I'll need. Well that would have been a nice thing to get sooner. Oh well. Now that now I have a better I have foreknowledge of what these compasses do, and I'm pretty sure none of these are the one for level seven because that would kind of break things. Uh, of course, I had I'd have to go outside to compare notes. Uh, okay. Okay, I didn't know there was stuff there for me to hit. Ha! 
Oh, jeez. What the heck is going on here? Do I want to know what those Link Sprite things are? I have a sneaking suspicion that the answer to that is no. I have a feeling that the, uh... Okay, that works too. Although, it, I notice now that it's not actually doing damage to me. And I'm not sure what the significance of that is. Uh, let's see what this thing says. Burn the sand. No, you heard that right. All sand must burn. Okay. <laughs> okay, hammering water, sure, why not? Uh Okay, was that supposed to do something? Ah, okay, so I stunned the stupid things. Okay. That opened that way, though the question now becomes... What the heck do I... All right. That led to here. And there's a key. Uh right, There was more stuff in, that was in this direction, yes? Eep! Yeah, so now I know better than to touch the compasses. So... Uh... And it turns out I did need a key here. Aha! And that leads to a shortcut from there. Oh, jeez. Really now? Un oh, Armos is hidden underwater! Yay! Um, the crystals reflect magic based on the color. I couldn't use regular mirror combos because good question. Okay, try some random stuff on suspicious spots. Okay. 
Oh wait, can I push these? No. Huh. Okay, that works. Yeah, I, I, I have the gist of what he's doing. He's basically picking me up and pile driving me, Sabine style. Uh, let's see. Opposites do not attract. Oh, hello. Okay. Not sure what all that what that guy was about, but hey, I got the key. Do I want to know? No, I don't think I do. Let's see. Same row, two only. Confusing hint. So basically the same thing the last thing said. Same row, 12 is not the answer. <laughs> ah. Left is right, up is down. Uh, okay. Check behind the freaking waterfalls. Okay. the chest. Of course. But if this is a chest, where's my four treasure chests with items in them? I feel like you're cheating me out of something here. What? Whiz robe that does hook shots? What the? Uh. Yeah, I figured that was a portal back. If anything, I think just act there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it was active on both ends. Wait, it's this boss again? Oh, hello, you that I actually forgot the name of. Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be more to this guy, but I just have to wait and see what it is, because I really have no idea. Okay, so it was just the same one. What was that? You call that a boss? No, 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 no. This is a boss. Okay. Okay. Makes me, this makes me glad that I, there's that portal shortcut. The thing is, I want to see what is in there. Thankfully, I don't have to fight this one again.
Oh yeah, I just don't get the pattern on that one. Oh, great. Now he gets to move. Uh, I do have potions. And... You know what? I am going to do my usual retry method from here, because... Yeah! Your bats won't save you from the fire! Uh... Right! You know what, since it's apparently refilling my health while I'm in here, I'm just gonna stall for a moment. There we go. There we go. Didn't expect a John Cena appearance, but hey. The Forge. Eureka! I have found the secret to creating the ultimate weapons and armor. It's deceptively simple. I just need to find a world with no standards. There I'll be able to set the damage and defense values to the absolute highest possible. I am departing for such a world now, leaving behind my seven prototype weapons. If you are reading this, you are welcome to use them. The Sage of Cheapness. Okay. Let's see what we got. Lance of Longiness. <laughs> Legendary weapon of New Journey's Fire. Pick up sub-weapons to change the weapon's effect. The sub-weapons will vary in usefulness. Pick up the upgrade to power up the sub-weapons. Watch out for the axe. Okay. Judgment Fight. Legendary weapon of Team UDF. Hold the button to shoot out a damaging spark. If it reaches the edge of the screen before you release it, it releases a bolt of lightning. Okay. Spellblade. Legendary weapon of me. Swing at certain projectiles to gain their element. Hold the button to charge an elemental attack. I think I, I think you all know which one I'm going to get, but I at least want to check these out just to see what they all do. Tentai, legendary weapon of jubs. Hold the button and walk around to swing a giant tentacle at your foes. Okay. Ooh, that one's shiny. Final sequence, legendary weapon of Dementio. The strongest and weakest weapon. It grows in power based on how many moral compasses you don't have. Quack. Say, wait, what? Uh, what, did I, what, what did I say again? It grows in power based on how many moral compasses you don't have. So, it's only, it's only good for the early game? Okay. Greed Buster, legendary weapon of Vepi. Double tap and hold the button to set your grind level. Single tap and hold to empty your wallet on foes. Okay. And Salt Knuckle, legendary weapon of SC Knuckles. Tap the button repeatedly to unleash a flurry of punches and spins. Taking damage increases the weapon's power. Okay, these are all very interesting. But considering one of them is my weapon, I want to see what this thing is in action. So that is officially my weapon of choice now. 
Okay. So it has to be an enemy's projectile, I guess, huh? Alright. And now it's... Metal type? <laughs> now it's fire type. Holy cow. So Pierce. Uh Okay. That's a cool thing, I guess. Uh Ah, okay. Does, uh, and I'm presuming that will freeze everything in the room. Said. Ow. Wait. Yeah, I was dealing damage to the bubble there. Okay, this is pr a pretty neat thing. It's a shame that I lose my project my uh, sword beams, but I've got infinite arrow, so I can't complain too much. Uh So I'm kind of curious. That did that did freeze the room, and I can hit I can kill the bubbles while it's frozen, unless it just actually had hit points and I didn't really. I'm curious. My next thought. Is Yeah, I definitely like the metal one. I definitely like the metal one a lot. And what? Um Do I want to know? I'm not sure I do. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to have some fun with this thing. So I guess join me next time when I go other places. And just to confirm. Uh... I'm gonna. I might do some experimenting off screen with some of these things, if, assuming I can actually. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I guess join me next time when I go do things. I don't know what the heck to think anymore. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.